What's up guys? Today I'm coming at you with a holster review. Um, it is a Kraft Holsters uh, Lynx holster. Um, if you can see, this is a Springfield Hellcat. Uh, it is not optic cut. I mean, it's almost optic cut. I mean, you could slide this over, cut a little bit, and it would, you know, it would be. But if, you know, you see it comes up a little bit short like that. But I just kind of wanted to throw that in there that uh, maybe with a little bit of modifications, it definitely could be um, an optics cut. I just wanted to kind of start that out and I'm gonna take that optic off and we'll do a regular video. But I don't know, I just kind of thought that looked kind of neat. Uh, thought I would start the video off with that because uh, it's not far off. A little cut here, maybe extend that, over slide that over a little bit. Little cut there, if you're watching craft holsters, uh, this could definitely work uh, for this particular gun. But uh, hang on a second and I'll get back with you and we'll finish the review. All right guys, I'm back. Uh, I just took the optic off. Uh, we'll take a look at the holster. Uh, look at the way the gun's supposed to ride in the holsters. See how it sits down the way, yeah, I didn't put my plate back on. The way that it, you know, it, it rides low. It's a deep concealed carry. Uh, this is an excellent holster. I have one for my Glock 43, uh, Glock 26, and I have a very similar Galco holster for my uh, Taurus uh, G2C. Uh, it's not the, the Lynx holster, but this is my third Lynx holster. I love these holsters. Uh, if you look at it, the, the stitching on it, it's got an overlap right here. I mean, if you look at all the stitch work, uh, everything is money. Uh, the inside is a little, normally there's a lot of felt, but this latest holster is not quite as, it's a little different. Like, I think it's a newer made holster. The material on it, I mean, if I'm being honest, I hate to, you know, this holster was given to me. I don't want to say anything bad about it, but I want to be honest. This holster doesn't seem as, it doesn't seem as high quality as the ones that I had before. I hate to say that, but I've always said in my videos that I'd like to be honest about what I'm reviewing. And I mean, it's still good, don't get me wrong. It's just the leather is not, I don't quite, I don't think it's quite as thick, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, might be a little, or it could be a different type. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I probably should have asked before I said that. Um, you got your snap buttons, uh, which are, you know, really positive. I love these holsters. I mean, even if it is a little thinner or, you know, a little thinner made, I still think it's a good holster. It's a good forming holster to your body because it will wrap like that because you'll run your belt through here. It is an inside the waistband holster and it'll kind of snug to your body like that. And you have a little bit of a sweat guard right here. Well, I mean, actually that's a lot. I mean, if you go and look, I mean, it covers everything. It covers the, the release, magazine release, and it covers up to here. I mean, you know, this part here, the way your belt, the way it's set up on your belt, it's gonna like kind of push and wrap the body. So that's not going to, I mean, I, I don't even know I got it on when, I'm, when I wear these holsters. I love these holsters. Um, they, you can move this for your ride height on your belt line. Like you can drop it down, down, or, you know, but I prefer it like this cause it'll set almost like that where you can just, where you can still get a good, you know, grab on the handle. Um, it has a, a lot of really good stitch work, and these things last forever. Like I said, I have other holsters like this. I did have a problem with that, the snap on it, on my other one. Um, I bumped, I was helping my son move, and I got kind of wedged in between something. And I bit the crap, I mean, smashed it, just pancaked it. And I got in touch with them and they sent me a bunch of hardware. I mean, they didn't really, I took a picture of it. They sent me that. Um, I had no way of putting it on it because you got to have like a little squeeze thing to put these buttons on it. I took it to a upholstery shop and they fixed it. Um, 
So, I mean, that's good customer service. If you ever have a problem with the holster, these people will take care of you. Um, this holster was given to me by Craft Holsters. Um, everyone that I've had has been given to me. I really appreciate them. They're a great company to do business with. Uh, <clears throat> if you want a holster that'll, that'll last a lifetime, this is the, the right holster for it. Uh, I've had nothing but good service out of it. Uh, I, I can't say anything. You know, to me, this is the pinnacle of comfortable you know like if you want to be comfortable and if i'm not comfortable i'm not going to wear a holster and i found these are are it i really wish it was optic cut <laughs> that's the only drawback of it which i knew it wasn't going into it they told me it wasn't but and i know this line of holsters but just from what i showed you earlier in the video it could it could be really just cut and stitched and it, it would work especially on those hellcat uh, it's a it's a great holster I don't know what else to say about it I don't want to spend too much time talking about it other than I mean it's a good quality product it will last you a lifetime these other holsters will probably outlast me and well I mean <laughs> that's about all I really have to say about it I will leave a link in the description for um, they're probably their Hellcat line, not just this holster, but their Hellcat line. If you're interested in it, go over there and check check out my friends at uh, Craft Holsters. Um, Al from Craft Holsters sent me this holster. He's an excellent guy, excellent person to work with. Um, everybody at Craft Holsters has been good to me over the years. I don't have anything negative to say about them. Um, they make a good quality product. They stand behind it. Uh, like I said, you know, this could be like a newer model, like, I don't know, it could have been maybe, I don't know, maybe a shop holster is why I see that quality difference or the pliability in the leather may be different. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I can't really pinpoint it, but it does feel different than my other holsters. I mean, maybe somebody that's got one or knows can chime in in the comments and tell me why maybe craft holsters, maybe you can do it. Uh, but overall, I love it. It's a good holster. I recommend them uh, 100%. Uh, and it's not a biased opinion. If it was a piece of junk, I'd tell you it was a piece of junk. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope everybody has a good day and a good weekend. And uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. What's up, guys? Uh, this is kind of what the holster looks like on me. I don't know how well you can see that. The camera's a pretty good distance away. But uh, you got your double belt loop. It goes kind of in through there. And that's what it looks like. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope everybody has a good weekend, a good day. Uh, thanks for watching.